Hi friends, you are welcome back to another interesting question. We are to determine the area of this rectangle. The length of this line segment is 24 meters and that of this is 21 meters. We have here a cycle. So how can we solve this? How can we calculate the area of the rectangle? Come here. Construct a line parallel to this from this side to pass through this point E for this line. Let this point be P and this Q. For this rectangle, we know all angles of the rectangles are 90 degrees each. Therefore, this angle, this, this and this are right angle. So since this is parallel to this side, this angle and this are going to be 90 degrees each. Here we see this angle and this are formed by two straight lines intersecting. That is, they are vertically opposite angles. Vertically opposite angles are equal. So if we let this be A, this must also be A. Now look at this triangle. It is a right angle triangle and it has an angle A. Same is for this triangle. It is also a right angle triangle and it has an angle A. That makes them similar. So if we take the ratio of their sides, this side facing angle 90 degrees divided by this must be equal to this side CM divided by this. So 24 over 21 equal to m over n. 24 can be written as 8 times 3 and 21 is 7 times 3. 3 will eliminate 3. So 8 over 7 equal to m over n. Now let's do something. Assume m equal to 8c. Substitute it here and here. So 8 over 7 equal to 8z over n. This 8 eliminates this 8. So 1 over 7 equal to z over n. Cross multiply n equal to 7z. That is, this side is 7z in length. Look at this quadrilateral CPQH. All its angles are right angles. That makes it a rectangle and we know in a rectangle opposite sides are equal in length that is this side and this are equal and this and this are equal. So since this side has its length to be the summation of hz and 7z the length of this side must also be hz plus 7z which is 15z. Now come here to this triangle we see it is a right angle triangle. We have two of its sides to be of length 21 meters and 7z. If we let this be v, we can use the Pythagorean theorem on it. The Pythagorean theorem states that the square of the length of the hypotenuse of a right angle triangle is equal to the sum of the squares of the length of the two other sides. The hypotenuse is a side facing the right angle which is this here. So by Pythagoras, 21 squared equal to 7z all squared plus v squared. 21 all squared is 441. 7z all squared is 49z squared. So 441 equal to 49z squared plus v squared. We take 49z squared to the left hand side of the equation. So v squared equal to 441 minus 49z squared. We keep this aside. Now come here. This line EQ starts from the circumference of the cycle to another point on the circumference and then outside the cycle. That makes it a second line. And we see this line touch the cycle at this point. That makes it a tangent. We see 
it meets the second at this point. There is the tangent second theorem by which if a second and a tangent are drawn to a circle from the same external point, the product of the length of the second and that of its external segment equals the square of the tangent segment. So if we let this segment be y, the product of the length of line eq and this y must be equal to the square of this v. So 7z multiplied by y equal to v squared. 7z times y is 7yz. So 7yz equal to v squared. That is v squared equal to 7yz. Come here. Replace this v squared with 7yz. So 7yz equal to 441 minus 49z squared. Divide both sides of the equation by 7z. Here, 7z cancels 7z. While here, 441 minus 49z squared all over 7z is 441 over 7z minus 49z squared over 7z. Here, 441 over 7z is 63 over z. Minus 49z squared over 7z is minus 7z. So y equal to 63 over z minus 7z. Keep it aside. Come here from point D. Draw a tangent cycle at the point. This line DG is perpendicular to this tangent. And that's what makes it a diameter of the cycle. Based on the rule that the tangent of a cycle is perpendicular to its radius through point of contact. Diameter is 2 radius. Look at this quadrilateral. Three of its angles are right angles. That makes it a rectangle. Opposite sides of a rectangle are equal. So since this is V, this must also be V. And since this is 2R, this must also be 2R. We write line QR equal to 2R. Now this line is connecting two parallel tangents at testing point which are not the point of contact and they are at right angles. We'll have two congruent seconds along the same straight line. So the external segment will be congruent. Therefore, this and this are equal. Since this is y, this must also be y. Line QR, its length is a summation of this y and this 7z. So line QR equal to y plus 7z. Come here, substitute it. So y plus 7z equal to 2r. Recall y, we have its value here to be 63 over z minus 7z. Substitute it here. Minus 7z plus 7z is 0. So 63 over z equal to 2r. Multiply both sides of the equation by 1 over 2. Here 2r times 1 over 2 is r. While here 63 over z times 1 over 2 is 63 over 2z. So r equal to 63 over 2z. Okay. Come here. Since this is a diameter, its midpoint is the center of the cycle. We see this side touch the cycle at this point. That makes it a tangent to the cycle. Based on the rule that the tangent of a cycle is perpendicular to its radius through point of contact. If we draw out the radius from the point of contact, the angle formed will be a right angle. Call the center of the circle O. Now look at this quadrilateral. Three of its angles are right angles. That makes it either a rectangle or a square. It doesn't matter which one it is. In both, opposite sides are equal in length. That is, this side and this are equal. So since this side is O, this must also be R. 
Now back to this rectangle, to calculate its area, we use a formula base times height. Taking this as a base, this must be the height. So base equal to 15C and height equal to R. Substitute it here. R, we have its value here to be 63 over 2Z. Put it here. This C cancels this C. 15 times 63 is 945. So area of rectangle equal to 945 over 2 square units. Thank you for watching. Please like, share and subscribe and also turn on notifications. Thank you.